Hi, our names are Carlos and Ariana, and we decided to base our documentary research project on the photographer Tina Modotti. Modotti's work included lyrical images of peasants and workers, and experiments with architectural interiors, flowers, and urban landscapes. Mexican photographer Manuel Alvarez Bravo notes two distinctions in Modotti's work being both romantic and revolutionary. The romantic aspects of her work undoubtedly influenced by Weston, and the revolutionary from her growing interest in politics. Tina Modotti was born on August 17, 1896 in Udine, Italy. Her parents had six children in total, the third being Tina. Her father worked as a mason and her mother stayed home with the children working as a seamstress to generate additional income. The historic town of Udine was prosperous and in general politically conservative. The working classes tended towards socialism and political activism. Modotti's father was among those influenced by such activism. He often attended demonstrations and meetings with Tina, which were her most vivid childhood memories, including the May Day demonstrations that took place every year. Modotti spent most of her childhood in Austria, where her parents were migrant laborers. Her main concerns were still the same, to find food for dinner and firewood to warm their pitiful home. Her sister Yolanda remembered her from that point on as having a sad face and a resigned look, the only one who never complained about the lack of food or the cold. She often visited her uncle's Porsche studio and the school of photography. Tina didn't pursue a professional career by furthering her education. And in 1905, the family returned to Udine and Modotti left school in the third grade to work in a textile factory, also helping with the occasional work her mother could find as a dressmaker. During that time, Udine became the seat of the Italian High Command and was nicknamed the War Capital. In 1917, she met a man named Rubai, nicknamed Robo, and in 1918, they began their romantic relationship and moved with him to LA to pursue a career in the motion picture industry. Although the couple lived together as a married couple, they were not married. Her move to LA is said to have been the spark of her artistic career. She was known for her role as the femme fatale. In 1920, she got the starring role in the silent film The Tiger's Coat, developing an interest in performing arts by starring in many plays, silent movies, and operas, until her documentary, photography, and fine art career commenced in the 1920s in Mexico while modeling for Edward Weston. Despite the fact that she had no formal education, Modotti had a keen interest in focusing on matters that required an intellectual mind. For her acting career, she was simply just experimenting. However, for photography, she grew up being surrounded by photography studios owned by her, both her father and her uncle. It was then through her relationship with Edward Weston that Modotti developed as an important fine art photographer. She became known for her close-up images of Mexican citizens and workers. She also captured abstract images by taking Mexico's folk art and landscapes, later becoming an active communist in Mexico. Her photographs for the communist newspaper El Machate were among the earliest examples of critical photojournalism in Mexico. Modotti also became the photo photographer of choice for the blossoming Mexican mural movement, documenting the works of Jose Clemente Orozoco and Diego Rivera, and she also got to meet Frida Kahlo. Her life was not always like this, of course. She did not live a perfect life. Even so, it was a mix of ups and downs. Starting with her relationships, she did not marry. However, was dating Robo Ritchie for about four years until he passed away. But while dating Ritchie, she was having an affair with Edward Weston, her mentor. Modotti began a relationship with Xavier Guero, who was a member of the Communist uh, Mexican Party in 1927. Nevertheless, her most difficult times were in 1929, where she was framed for the murder of her companion, Julio Antonio Mella, a founder of the Cuban Communist Party. Though she was acquitted of the murder, Modotti was caught in a web of political intrigue. In 1930, she was jailed for her alleged participation in an attempted assassination of the Mexican president, Pascual Ortiz Rubio, and then she was deported from Mexico. She photographed briefly and without distinction in Berlin before moving to Moscow. There, she, was, she more or less abandoned photography in order to devote her energies to international red aid, the Comintern's International Social Service Agency. Modotti became the companion of Italian Stanulus Vittorio Vidali, a suspect in Mella's death. Near the end of her life, Modotti was living in Mexico City, Mexico. 
until she died on January 5, 1942, at the age of 45 from heart failure while, while on her way home in a taxi from another person's home in Mexico City. With all the work she did in Mexico and how significant living there was for her career and the impact she made on their culture and political views, her grave is located within the Panteón de Dolores in Mexico City. Today, Modati is remembered by her romantic yet revolutionary work. Modati's work is held in the following permanent collections. The Art Institute of Chicago, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, the M Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and the Philadelphia Museum of Art in Philadelphia. We both find Modati as a once interesting woman who lived an eventful life. While reading and gaining information about her, we became inspired by her lifestyle. We hold this true because she chose to not take part in an ordinary form formal education, even then instead became a well-known figure in photography as well as politics. We believe the most important things she achieved was being able to capture how residents of Mexico lived and just their everyday lives. It was very interesting to us how she captured the Mexican culture and workers because we both have a Mexican descent. That is why Tina Modotti will always have a special connection with both of us.